Good evening. This week's message is going to be short and simple. Let's say a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, have your way. Touch the people. Let the people who need to see this see this. And Lord, we just ask that you do your will in our lives as you are Lord Jesus. No matter what happens, you are Lord. In my name is just amen. Now, Jesus is simple. He's not intellectual. He's not in our mind. Jesus is alive. Jesus came that he would give us life and life more abundantly. Now, I want you to keep this in mind, okay? I originally maybe did these videos with a motive, and it's so that I could keep recording the things that God gives me for my next generation and the generations to come, whether it be my family, my church family, or those that I reach all over the world. But my point is, is that it is for a motive, and my motive and my mission is in God. Um, God sees the motive of our hearts. He sees the motivations. Whether it be self-preservation, self-exaltation, um, um, selfish pursuits. Uh, he sees problems that stop us from him. He sees everything. He knows all. He's the all-knowing God. He's everywhere, all the time, everywhere, all the time. But he's a God who hears. He's a God who sees. He's a God who has a mouth and who can speak. He's a mouth. He's the God of today and tomorrow and forever. Now, I want you to keep in mind this, okay? If you were looking at this video, if I was looking at this video, I would say, well, what would this have to do with me? There was a time in my life that I was self-ambitious. I thought Christianity had to do with just like the world, you know, getting to the next step, being more successful. But God's world is the opposite of the world system. The world system says you have to do this to get that, but God says, go abase yourself, be humble, go down, so that I can exalt you in due time. It's a totally different world. It's an opposite, okay? So if I was you, I would say, well, what is the point of this? And I want to get right to the point. See, God wants you. He wants all of you. And he knows our hearts. He knows whether, no matter what's going on with us, good, bad, evil, nice, sad, happy, whatever. He knows us. He knows us inside out because he created us because he's the creator. We are his children. See, the angels of God, they have to obey him. They have to listen to him. They have no choice. He says, bow, they bow. He says, praise, they praise. He says, worship, they worship. But us, we have the freedom of choice. And it says in some of those songs we sing, it says, those who choose to serve him now whom they do not see, we go by faith and faith alone that we see and know in our spirits and in our hearts, in the heart of our spirit, that we know, that we know, that we know that Jesus is alive, that we know God is real. And you, even though the, maybe you're in an addiction, maybe you're backslidden, maybe you were serving God and now you just go, but your heart is far from him. Maybe you're in a, in a physical addiction, a, a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, a work addiction, pornography addiction, whatever the addiction is, jealousy addiction. There are so many addictions, food addictions. There are so many addictions, control addictions. Whatever it may be, God has the power to free us, but he gives us the freedom of choice, the freedom to choose to have faith. Have faith now, it says. Choose to serve him now. Salvation is for today. Freedom has to go with salvation. Healing has to go with salvation. There's a true picture of salvation. It's not just being saved to go to heaven for eternal life, but it's on this earth to be free. Jesus came to be our deliverer and to deliver us. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, he did. Sickness, sin disease, circumstances, so that we can have peace, we can have liberty, we can have life. We would not be self-preserving. We would not be self-seeking. We would not be rude. We would not be anxious. We would not be worried. See, that's another addiction, worry. But today, I want to promise you that Jesus can deliver you. Today, I went to go do a uh, ultrasound. <coughs> I did the same ultrasound nine years ago. 
And that time that I did it, I was angry, I was hateful, I was resentful. Not saying that I'm 100% delivered from those things, but I wasn't the same today. I said I laid on that table and I prayed to God, Lord, that this would be a good report, that nothing evil would come of it. Because we still have to take care of ourselves. We have to not be self-neglecting. We do not have to over-nurture others. We have to take care of ourselves as well in God. Put God first, then our, our husbands, or our wives, our uh, families, then our church. Lord, He is there for us. He loves us. But you know, we got to get it right. Get Him first in the picture. Get to know Him. No, just don't know about him. Just don't go find out about him, but know him intimately. You know, and sometimes it takes time. It takes practice. And I'll tell you, when I was laying on that thing, I was saying, God, I'm going to get that good report. And I was laying there without anxiety. I was laying there without anger. I was laying without resentment, knowing that I could have maybe a little bit of anxiety, but that I was not where I was at almost 10 years ago, laying on that same place, but being set free and delivered. Maybe I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not where I was, and that's what God wants. He knows our hearts, and He knows that when we're keeping, and those that have strayed away, or those that don't know Him, I urge you right now to say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come back into my heart. Lord, I don't know you, come into my heart. Or those that know you, knew you, just say, Lord, I come back. I just come back. God is a simple God. He's a caring God. He's a faith God. And if you could just take an action, step to the place put your hand up lord jesus christ i pray over these people that are believing that they would be set free delivered in the name of jesus from addictions from things that are, are harboring in our families in our lives in the name of jesus i praise you i bless you in the name of jesus be delivered in jesus name thank you and god bless you may you be set free and delivered forever in jesus mighty name and the power of god set you free in jesus name amen